as the sun sets on a Port St. Lucie neighborhood. I will always pray, you know, God protect and be with him, you know, have your grace over him. Doris Tirado says she's been up since four in the morning. Because I kept saying showing front door. When her alarm alerted her of FHP troopers at her neighbor's house. So I just stood there by the window and I just got this feeling in my gut, you know, like, oh my God, no. She says they were there to deliver the news of the accident to fallen trooper Fink's fiance. He was so young and so full of life. That's just, that's incredibly unfair. Karen McCall didn't want her face shown, but says she's lived in the neighborhood for 50 years. Zachary was always waving at everybody, saying hi. He introduced himself when he moved in to everybody in the neighborhood. She says uh, her and Fink I, would I, say I, hi to each other daily. How are you feeling right now, knowing that that was him? It's My heart hurts because I know that he won't be there, but because I know that that's a life snuffed out that's so young that is way before its time. Fink was 26 years old, and as neighbors try and get some rest, their hearts are on those left behind. If by some chance a family may be watching this tonight, do you have a message for them? I'm just praying that he's in a better place, you know, and I know he's going to be watching over his family always.